Hi, guys. Hey, how's it going? Today we're going to be talking about renter's insurance. So whether you are a renter or you have renters, this is probably going to be a great show for you. It is. And very important. In fact, in all our leases these days, we're writing in that it's mandatory that our tenants carry renter's insurance. But so, guess what? It's very inexpensive. Yes. Less than $200 a year generally. Um, this is an article that gave me the inspiration to do this show from the AAA Westways magazine. And they are talking about what does renter's insurance cover? Well, renter's insurance will cover your clothing, your furniture, things like that. If there is a natural disaster or a fire or something, it may also cover if there is a, something like that happen in your rental where you need to move out. It might cover your hotel and meals, things like that. Now it doesn't cover the structure, the homeowner's insurance, the homeowner should be covering the structure, but the renter's insurance covers your belongings basically it does and now what does it not cover it doesn't cover if you have a roommate and let's say you accidentally something you had plugged in like a cell phone or a charger or whatever it is short circuits and catches on fire and it burns up your clothes in your roommate's clothes not going to cover your roommate's clothes right so it's very important that your roommate also carries their own renter's insurance. And if you are a homeowner who is renting out a room in your house, also very important that your tenant have uh, renter's insurance to cover them because your insurance probably won't cover them if they're, if they're renting and just things you never want to try out, you know, after the fact. Another thing that homeowner's insurance may cover you for is liability. If something happens in your rental, um, like a dog bite, for example, but many dog breeds are not covered. So something that if that specifically applies to you, you need to make sure that um, you are covered in a situation like that. Um, so just things you might not think about for renter's insurance. Wait, it's so unusual because it seems like all the dogs we like are not covered by insurance companies anymore. Yeah. Things like earthquake insurance, flood, flood insurance, things like that are not covered. Obviously they're, co they're covered specifically if the homeowner carries those policies. Um, but they are not usually covered under renter's insurance. So we highly, highly recommend you get renter's insurance if you need, need it, but read the policy very carefully and make sure everything that you need is covered. For example, things like jewelry, specialty things, firearms, things like that, you may have to get an extra rider to cover those things on your renter's policy. That's true on your homeowner's policy too, but um, it also applies to renter's insurance if you have specialty items or maybe even if you work at home and you have uh, expensive electronics in your home, then those might need an extra rider to cover them should something happen. Yeah, and I would think, you know, these numbers, you know, around 200 bucks for renter's insurance, based on what has happened in the insurance industry here in the last six, seven, eight months, I would think the insurance renter's insurance is going to go up too. I would think they very seldom ever have a claim, but when they do have a claim, I think it's going to have a lot of people paying $200 a year to cover one claim. The way things are so expensive these days. Mm -hmm. There's also another caveat here that's a little off topic, but it talks about the walls in insurance for a condo. When you live in a condo and you buy walls in insurance, Usually your home, the condo HOA policy covers the structure of the building, but you need to carry your walls in insurance. And again, all the specialty items apply here that if you need uh, extra co uh, coverage, read your policy and make sure you have it. Well, but renter's insurance, if you buy a condo, you can't go get renter's insurance. No, no, I'm just saying that it was just, there was just another caveat here that we get a lot of questions uh, about. So I just thought I'd throw it in there. What is walls in insurance? That's exactly what it means. Walls in walls, ceiling, floors, and your personal contents. Yes, but a different animal. Yes. <laughs> Condominium, if you're, you own the condo, it's a different insurance than renter's insurance. Right. It'd be nice if you could get renter's insurance and get that covered, but that's not the way it works. So anyway, that's our update for insurance, renter's insurance, and walls in condo insurance. If you have any questions, we're happy to refer you to people that we work with if you have questions. Absolutely. GaryandLisa.com. Your real estate edge.